Picture this. You're standing at life's crossroads, grappling with lessons that could have altered your path. What if you were privy to these profound truths earlier? Would your journey be different? Today, we're about to embark on a voyage of discovery, delving into 20 lessons people often learn too late in life. But before we set sail, here's a brain teaser to pique your interest. What comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? A tough nut to crack, isn't it? Well, don't worry, we'll revisit this riddle in due course. As we get ready to navigate these uncharted waters of wisdom, remember, each lesson is a beacon, a guiding light that might just illuminate the path you tread. Hold on to that thought as we unravel life's mysteries together. Welcome, gentlemen, to a journey of introspection and revelation on Stephis King. In this captivating episode, we navigate through 10 pivotal lessons that often elude people until the twilight of life. Each lesson is a nugget of wisdom, a stepping stone on the path of personal growth. We'll delve into the importance of vulnerability, the necessity of prioritizing health, and the significance of continuous learning and development. So, buckle up for a journey of introspection and enlightenment. But first, let's circle back to our riddle. What comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? The answer is the letter M. It's a simple riddle yet it reminds us of life's intricacy and the need to look beyond the obvious. With that, we've unlocked the door to wisdom. Now it's time to step through and explore the lessons that can reshape our lives. But first let's unravel our riddle and unlock the door to wisdom. Lesson 1. The Importance of Vulnerability and Emotional Intelligence. Let's start by understanding these two concepts. Vulnerability is the capacity to expose your authentic self to allow your emotions and experiences to be seen, even if it means risking judgment or rejection. Emotional intelligence, on the other hand, is the ability to recognize, understand, and manage our own emotions and the emotions of others. Now let's consider an example. Imagine you're at work, and you've made a mistake on a project. Instead of covering it up or shifting blame, you decide to admit your error openly. That's vulnerability. Responding to the reactions of your colleagues with understanding and empathy, that's emotional intelligence. This openness not only fosters trust, but also creates an environment where others feel safe to be vulnerable too. But why is this so important? Vulnerability and emotional intelligence are essential for building meaningful connections, both personally and professionally. They allow us to understand and empathize with others, to build stronger relationships, and to grow as individuals. Imagine a world where vulnerability is celebrated rather than shunned, where we don't have to wear masks, where we can openly share our feelings and experiences without fear of judgment. A world where we understand not just our own emotions but those of others as well. That's a world of greater connection, greater empathy, and ultimately greater fulfillment. Lesson 2. Prioritizing mental and physical health. It's easy to get swept up in the hustle and bustle of life chasing dreams and ticking off to-do lists. But in the midst of all this, we often forget to prioritize the one thing that fuels our drive, our health. Imagine a car. You wouldn't expect it to run smoothly without regular maintenance, would you? Similarly, your body and mind require consistent care to perform optimally. Mental health is as crucial as physical health. They are two sides of the same coin. You can't pour from an empty cup, so remember to refill yours. Take Jack, for instance, a high-achieving executive who worked tirelessly, clocking in long hours, and skipping meals. His dedication to his work was commendable, but it came at a high cost. Jack's health started deteriorating, and he found himself constantly fatigued and stressed. It was only when he collapsed from exhaustion that he realized the gravity of the situation. Jack's story is a stark reminder that success without health is a hollow victory. So, if you've been putting off that doctor's appointment or skipping your morning run, it's time to reassess your priorities. Your health is your wealth, after all. Remember, it's not about having time, it's about making time. Have you neglected your well-being in pursuit of success? Before we continue with the rest of the lessons, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Stay connected with our community as we unpack life's most profound lessons together. You wouldn't want to miss out on new content that could ignite a spark of insight, would you? So go ahead, subscribe and tap that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new videos. Now let's dive back into our journey of discovery. Lesson 3. Investing in Personal Growth and Development This is the cornerstone of a fulfilling life. It's about constantly seeking knowledge, embracing change, and striving to be the best version of yourself. It's not about competing with others, but improving yourself, expanding your horizons, and pushing your boundaries. 
Imagine if Steve Jobs hadn't invested in his personal growth and development. We might not have the iPhones, iPads, and Macs that have revolutionized our lives. Or consider Oprah Winfrey who came from a poverty-stricken background. She could have remained a local radio host but instead, she chose to invest in herself, to learn, grow, and expand her potential. Today, she is a global media mogul, inspiring millions with her story of perseverance and self-improvement. Remember, personal growth isn't a destination, but a lifelong journey. It's about learning new skills, cultivating positive habits, and embracing the power of continuous learning. It's about stepping out of your comfort zone, challenging your beliefs, and reinventing yourself. Don't wait for life to force you to grow. Choose to grow every day, read a book, learn a new language, take up a hobby, go back to school, or travel to a new place. The world is your classroom, and every experience is a lesson. Ask yourself, are you stagnating or evolving? Lesson 4. The Power of Gratitude In the rush of life we often forget to pause and appreciate the good around us. Gratitude however is more than just saying thank you. It's about acknowledging the good in your life and recognizing the sources of this goodness as being outside of yourself. It's about shifting your perspective to focus on what you have, rather than what you lack. Gratitude fosters positivity, and when practiced regularly, can significantly improve your overall well-being. Let's take a look at a few personal stories. John, a successful entrepreneur, was always chasing the next big thing. He was never satisfied and constantly stressed, but everything changed when he started keeping a gratitude journal. He realized that he had so much to be thankful for, and his perspective shifted. He became happier, more content, and surprisingly, even more successful. Similarly, Sarah, a single mother struggling to make ends meet, started practicing gratitude. She began to see the beauty in her struggles and found strength she never knew she had. She says, gratitude saved my life. So ask yourself, what are you grateful for today? Remember, gratitude is a choice. Choose to be grateful and watch your life transform. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the answer to our quiz. The question was, which of these lessons has the most potential to transform your life? Vulnerability and emotional intelligence, prioritizing mental and physical health, personal growth and development, or practicing gratitude? Well, the answer is, all of them. Yes, you heard it right. Each of these lessons, when applied, has the potential to bring about significant change in your life. They are all interconnected and equally important. Vulnerability allows us to connect deeply with others. Emotional intelligence helps us navigate those connections. Prioritizing our mental and physical health ensures we have the energy to grow, and gratitude turns what we have into enough. These are all key ingredients for a fulfilling and balanced life. So, if you chose any one of these lessons, you were right. But remember, the real transformation happens when you incorporate all these lessons into your life. Did you guess correctly? Let us know in the comments below. Which lesson strikes a chord with you? As we journey through life, we each resonate with different lessons, and our experiences shape us in unique ways. Perhaps you see the importance of vulnerability and emotional intelligence, or maybe prioritizing mental and physical health is a lesson you've already learned. Could it be that investing in personal growth and development is your current life's mantra? We all have stories to share, insights to offer, and wisdom to impart. So why not make this journey a collective one? Whether you're just beginning to understand these lessons or have already incorporated them into your life, we'd love to hear from you. Your reflections, questions, or even a simple hello can spark a conversation, foster a community, and make this learning experience more meaningful for all of us. So don't hold back. Share your reflections or questions in the comments below, and let's navigate this journey together. As a bonus, let's discuss one more lesson. The value of time. Time, gentlemen, is the most precious commodity we possess. It's the invisible currency that dictates the rhythm of our lives, yet we often squander it without a second thought. Picture this, you're given 86,400 seconds each day. How you choose to spend them can make all the difference. Imagine if you devoted just a fraction of these seconds to self-improvement, to nurturing relationships, or to chasing your dreams. The compound effect of these moments can lead to a life of fulfillment and purpose. But remember, time is a non-renewable resource. Once spent, it cannot be reclaimed. So cherish every second, every minute, every hour. Make your time count. And now we've reached the end of our journey today. Remember, time is the one thing you can never get back. Use it wisely.